Good afternoon. Excuse the terrible quality. I am on the Skull Candies this evening. Tonight, I made the wonderful choice of solo tripping to the Buffalo Sabres home opener against the Los Angeles Kings. I'll talk about that game in, in a second. First of all, all right, if you go to any sort of crowded event, all right, a, a hockey game, a football game, a concert, whatever it may be, if people aren't moving at a rate that's fast enough for you, just fucking stay home, all right? Don't lay on the horn expecting things to move faster. I mean, I'm walking to my car, and there's this young couple just waiting to get out. This fucking dude behind them is slamming on the horn. I mean, gee, what a fucking doofus, all right? What are you trying to accomplish, all right? You're that mad that the Sabres lost, you're taking out taking it out on these poor people, all right? Do what I do and make a goddamn YouTube video or something. But, uh, yeah, that people from, from Buffalo can just be fucking insufferable after having a few drinks. I've noticed that. Uh, people anywhere could become insufferable, and including myself, all right? But for some reason, people around here... They, they become aggressive. <laughs> like some people like me, I get drunk and I'm trying to have fun. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm trying to talk to strangers. All right, people from around here, they get angry. All right, I don't know if it's the lack of control in their everyday lives and the fact that their sports teams aren't giving them the escape that they so desire, but man, they, they get fucking angry. Uh, so that's that. I did go to this game alone, which I feel like, you know, that's a, that's a good step for me. I got a lot of social anxiety I work through on a daily basis. So going to a hockey game alone, you know, that's a bit of a task for me. I'll uh, have game footage that I took. Uh, but, I, you know, this is my second time doing that. And once again, I had a pretty good time, you know. The first time I went was the home opener in, I think, 2021, maybe. I don't know. But I had a good time then. The Sabres played the Senators, and I remember enjoying myself. This time, I also enjoyed myself. I, I sit in the parking lot for about 20 minutes and pound some whiskey, and then I head in and grab a beer. Eases the tension, and then uh, by the end of the game, I'm pretty much sobered up. Am I allowed to say that? You know, I'm sober enough to drive. All right, I am behind the wheel. <laughs> Not enough people watch this for this to fucking matter. Um, but I live close enough to the rink. And, and you know, I am sober enough to drive. I, I can't express that enough. I am not drunk driving. I don't, I don't do that. All right, anyway, anyway. Um, as far as this hockey game went, man, the Buffalo Sabres, 0-3. If this was the opening game of the season, I'd be feeling pretty optimistic about this team right now because they dominated front to back. Starting off with the first period, you get a 5-on-3, you can't capitalize. But, you know, early in the game, power plays are the worst. The legs are still fresh. Um... End the first period at 0-0. Zero to zero. Second period, you dominate that period. Again, not capitalizing on the power plays. Uh, but shorthanded, Alex Tuck, towards the end of the period, he gets a steal and a breakaway. Doesn't score on the initial shot, shovels it in on the rebound. So after all these missed chances, all right, Benson got a goal right as time expired in the first period, but it didn't count because it was just... 0.1 second too late. Then uh, I think it was Lafferty who got the penalty shot shorthanded. He can't score. I mean, so many goddamn chances. Alex Tuck finally buries one. It's one nothing to end the period. Then uh, you go into the third period thinking, well, the Sabres have dominated. How can they blow it? Instantly. Instantly to start the third period. Anze Kopitar gets a goal. A fucking snipe. All right. I, I can't hate on it. Kopitar can rip that fucking thing, even at the age of, like, 95, however old that guy is. Uh, shit, I remember using him in, like, NHL 07 or some shit. So he's got to be old as fuck. Um, 
Later on in the third period, the Sabres still dominating the game, just coming short of scoring. They uh, they get a fucking uh, penalty, a terrible penalty. It's a uh, roughing by Zucker. And then right with 30 seconds left in the kill, you get a slashing call with two minutes to go. And at that point, it's fucking over. You know it's over. The whole stadium knew it was over. And Anze Kopitar, he puts that motherfucker in there. Uh, another great shot. Ends up being uh, two, two to one. And then the Sabres pull the goalie. And Kopitar gets the natural hat trick for the Los Angeles Kings win. And as frustrated as I am as a Sabres fan, you know, happy for Kopitar. Still in this league, still balling. And uh, as for the Buffalo Sabres, Listen, man, if, if this was game one, you feel optimistic, but it's really starting to feel like 14 fucking years. Listen, I'm a grown man. I got two fucking kids. The last time the Sabres were in the playoffs, I was in middle school. I got bills to pay now. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, I, I still think there's hope you could turn this thing around, but... Man, I mean, now you're in desperation mode. You're 0-3. You can't go to 0-4. But who knows, man? Who knows where this thing's going to go? Really, that that global series shit, it it threw them off. It threw everything off, really. Uh, Because it felt like you knew that the uh, New Jersey Devils were a step ahead. And now going into this game, although you played a good game, you lost in regulation, you're 0-3-0. And uh, it's already spelling trouble for the Sabres. So that's that. That is where we are in Sabres.